it's Alicia here and I wanted to film a video about when you don't know what brings you joy what to do because you've probably heard this a lot maybe from watching my videos or from someone else that choosing your joy creates way more but you might be like well I don't know what brings me joy especially if you are like me and you had depression like symptoms for a really long time you probably don't know what brings you joy or the things that used to bring you joy don't bring you joy anymore and life might feel kind of flat, you know, and if you knew what brought you joy, you would just do that. But you don't know what it is. You don't have activities that bring you joy. So you're like, how can I follow my joy and therefore receive more if I don't even know what that is and I haven't felt joy in a really long time and, and that seems so out of reach. Well, if you feel that way, it's important to remember that there will be clarity and you will know what doesn't bring you joy, at least. So if you're like in a job that you really don't like and you don't know what you want to do for a living, but you're so clear that you know this is not what you want to do for a living, choosing your joy is choosing not to go to that job that doesn't bring you joy. That is choosing joy. So you may not know what the other thing is yet, and yes, there is a lot of fear of the unknown, but the way the universe works is if you do choose your joy and you're at this higher frequency and higher harmonic and you align more with your authentic self, which is a life of fluidity, abundance, joy, love, then you will receive more because that's your nature. That's your natural state. But I know it can be super scary when you don't have clarity on what does bring you joy. What is the next step that is going to make me happier than I am now? But if you have clarity right now on what doesn't bring you joy, follow that clarity, follow that guidance, and that is you choosing your joy. And my mentor actually has this awesome video about FOMO versus JOMO. And so it's the fear of missing out versus the joy of missing out. So when you choose not to do something that you really didn't even want to do in the first place and were just doing because you were in fear, fear that maybe there's some isn't something more available for you fear that you yeah you might miss out on something that could potentially be fun choosing from fear never creates more for you so if you choose not to go to that thing or do that thing that's causing you to have FOMO you're actually choosing joy and when you choose your joy you've now come into a higher frequency where so much more can exist for you so even in the littlest things like you know there's an event you don't want to go to um, but you're like, oh, but what if it ends up actually being fun or I, I could meet someone there, like make a new friend, meet a partner or whatever. A lot of people do that. They force themselves to go to things they don't want to do because they think maybe it will create something and they think that's the only way it will create anything. But the truth is your inner guidance will never let you down. So if it's not feeling expansive and if it's feeling kind of heavy, and if you're choosing from fear, that's how you know it's not gonna create the most for you. Fear never creates the most for you. And so choosing not to do that thing actually is choosing joy. So that's the joy of missing out. And I see this a lot with people in relationships that they are obviously not happy in their relationships. You might see people who are even in abusive relationships and they stay in them because they don't know what else is available. They don't know there's more for them out there and they're afraid of the unknown or the that they don't have clarity on what's next and so they're choosing from fear and choosing from fear never never creates more so they may not know what's on the other side of that if they leave this person but if they have clarity that you know what i'm not happy i i, I know there's more available for me than this then follow that clarity and leave that relationship and that is you choosing joy. So you don't need to know what brings you joy, what activities bring you joy, what kind of people you want to be around that brings you joy. If you don't know any of that and if you've like had depression for a really long time and just nothing seems to bring you joy and life seems really flat, it's okay. It's okay that you don't know. It means that there isn't anywhere else for you to be or anything else for you to be doing right now other than being where you are more willingly. And um, it's okay that you don't maybe enjoy a lot of things right now. It, it just means that you're probably out of alignment, not being your authentic self or, in, or are in resistance to what is. And um, 
it's okay to be there and if you're like okay so what can I do to feel more joy well joy is pure joy isn't like this oh my god I'm having so much fun like pure joy is joy in every moment joy even though you feel really shitty even though things aren't the way you want them to be right now even though you may not love what you're doing for a living right now whatever it is pure joy is finding joy in every moment and not resisting what is it's like a lightness it doesn't have to be this like oh i'm having so much fun it's just like a lightness and when you're not resisting what is you can feel that pure joy and that lightness um so that's another way that you can access your joy, but most importantly, listen to the clarity that your body's trying to give you of what doesn't bring you joy, because that's probably pretty freaking clear, what doesn't bring you joy. It won't feel good. It'll feel really uncomfortable. It'll feel heavy. So follow that guidance and choose not to do those things, and that is you choosing joy and coming into a higher harmonic. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.